Hey Castar and Skill Lovers, Michael Cyril here today and as I promised we're going to be doing the fish fry so stay tuned if you want to learn how to fry fish in a cast iron skillet. Alright what you're going to need to do this uh, fish fry is you're going to need flour and you're going to need cornmeal. I got some uh, flour from Whole Foods because I like whole flour, I don't want half the flour. So everybody's got a different rule of thumb on uh, how much flour to cornmeal ratio you're going to do for a fish fry. Um, I'm going to do a half a cup of flour, which is what I normally do. But half a cup of flour. To a whole cup of cornmeal. Because this fish I got here is swai, it's like catfish. It's the catfish of Thailand and Cambodia. You, when you Google it and look it up online and you see what it looks like, it looks like a shark, but it, it skins like a catfish. It's a river cat, like a catfish. So, uh, we will cook it as such and it tastes like it and a lot of times it's cheaper. Alright, so we're gonna get something to mix it up with. We're gonna need these things here. I don't have any cayenne pepper but if you, if you got it, use it. Use it to however much you can stand it. So um, I'm gonna put some Paprika in here, just a little bit. Some salt, like that. Some garlic salt, just a little bit. And some pepper. I don't want to put too much seasoning on it because I want to taste the fish. You know, you know I normally do pepper and you see I didn't put that much on it. Now we'll just mix it up. All our cornmeal and flour. Alright, so how's your weekend going? You're going to be cooking tonight. We're going to be doing some cast iron skillet cooking. Alright, so it's all mixed up. See how it looks? Pretty awesome. Okay, I've got the pan heating up. As you can see, the, the swai looks a lot like catfish. It's got the bone down the middle. The fillets are cut out the side. <clears throat> this one's probably going to be a little bit too big, so I'm going to cut it in half. Now normally a lot of people would, would dip these in buttermilk and, uh, and then put them into the flour. What I do is, is I put butter on them. Now I can't put my fingers back in there. But um... I put butter on the outside of these, a little trick I learned. Because when you put it on the outside of the fish right here, and then when you put it in the, the batter, it's going to lock in the juice of the fish. It's going to lock in all the flavor so it doesn't dry out when it gets into the oil. Like say peanut oil if you got it. I'm just using regular oil. Most people use butter. Let's get these going. I can hear the pan. It's heated up. Ready to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lost my voice. Must be from hollering too much. Alright. 
That one went in there pretty nice. Uh, need a butter on that side. Alright. So yeah, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can find another way to get the butter on there. Or you can uh, use an egg wash or buttermilk. Regular milk. I felt so funny by the break of dawn. It must have been a lady I was dreaming of. She got me. She got me. I poured my coffee and I read the news I thought her legs were pinkies but I couldn't choose She got me Oh yeah, she got me I've got this crazy feeling and I wanna go these off the skillet and I'll cut one open show you what it looks like 